Hey y'all, it's time for another chit chat video. I'm jiggly as hell y'all. Um, my hair, let me tell you something. <laughs> Yesterday I attempted to do a flexi rod set the same day and what I was trying to say in the video, which I don't think I clearly communicated, is that I had created a poll for you guys. I want to start, well, now since I'm not doing product reviews as much as probably won't be necessary, but I like to interact with you guys as much as possible. So I had created a poll and basically asked y'all if uh, I should set my flex flexi rocks the same day and do a dryer or sleep in them. An overwhelming amount of y'all say, girl, just dry it. Now I will say a couple of you, at least three or four of you said you will need more than two hours. Two, two hours minimum. But I didn't have two hours. I had one and a half hours to dry my hair and I air dried for two hours. So that's three and a half hours. What the hell? So this is another thing I didn't mention in that video. If you notice, the, the, actually the part where I use the Sultanicals uh, product, that didn't dry. But the other sections where I was using meal, that section didn't dry. I mean, it was still puffy, but it didn't dry. So, yeah. Anyway, girl, this is what my hair looks like literally less than 24 hours later. I knew it would do this. My whole goal was to, um, not go. My whole thing yesterday was I was going to put my hair in twists last night, girl. After two drinks, no, that, that, that was not happening. So, we're going to go ahead and set my hair in twists. I'm going to be using a little bit because I feel like my hair... I feel like my hair feels greasy and I don't plan on washing my hair literally until it's time for me to go to Texas. Yes. So a little bit of these products. I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off. The only thing I will say is this failed style has now introduced me to another style. There was a picture I shared on my Instagram a couple of months ago. It was, I believe it was uh, women from Madagascar and they have this beautiful thick four seat hair where they have their hair in these puffs, textured puffs, very much like this, okay? In a very pa a pattern. Um, now I know how to do it. Anyway y'all, how was y'all Labor Day? Did y'all cook? What did y'all eat? Look, I cook a lot, as y'all can clearly see from my vlogs, and so a lot of the times, I don't be wanting to cook. So yesterday, I was like, I don't, I, we're going out to eat. Um, and another thing, on the same type of topic, I've gotten comments from several of you who are like, you know, why don't you do a cookbook? Why don't you do a, um, you know, like a cookbook or something, or, you know, catering, or, you know, something that deals with food. I don't like, <laughs> you see me cooking because that's what I do. I like cooking, I like baking, baking, but I'm not passionate about it. I believe that when you get into, you know, creating something like a vlog or that's specific for cooking or creating a cookbook, you have to be passionate about it because you have to keep it. I'm not passionate about any of that. I'm, I'm good at it, it's a hobby, but I'm not passionate. My best friend is passionate about baking. She bakes every week and I don't mean like, you see me with the Betty Crocker kid and no, she bakes something from scratch, she decorates it. She's actually taking a class um, for the next five weeks, a buttercream class, that's called passion. So, and with that being said, yeah, I was so passionate that we went to Papa Do's last night. <laughs> so, yeah, we went out to eat. <clears throat> and it's so funny, while I was there, I saw my friend Wanda. And she was the one who I made the cake for, for her birthday. Um, and I was like, Wanda? She didn't even recognize me at first. So she, she just wasn't paying attention. And she looked tired, so she said they just got back from Vegas. Um, I'm like, okay. So anyway, y'all, yeah, that's Sultanicals, no. <clears throat> and that's the thing. I was concerned about reviewing because on Amazon, the Amazon um, reviews were not that good on some of the products, especially the Knot Sauce, though. The Knot Sauce was okay. And so <sighs> the styler had hard, hard pebbles or beads. First of all, it was watery, very watery. Um, which is why that section was still wet. And yeah, I tried to dissolve it, it wouldn't dissolve. I can't warm it up because it's already watery. And I can't mix it with shea butter because 
those beads or whatever the heck it is is throughout all of the product and i know one other person at least on the amazon made that comment about the batch that she received so yeah y'all moving on girl so i'm going to be twisting my hair <coughs> and hopefully i have a young lady who asked me about um hairstyles for college so hopefully i will be able to record that video this week yep so what's going on y'all what's the tea what is happening what's happening in these youtube streets i know some of y'all just stay in other folks business <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i don't know what's going on um i get on youtube you know every now and then i'll do a recommendation but i also like to look at old tv shows um, which, by the way, keeping up uh, appearances, excuse me, you cannot purchase through YouTube. <clears throat> I've already seen every episode twice, but that's just those of you who... It's a British comedy. I, lo I like British comedy. I really do. Um, I could never get into... What does it call, you guys, where they're all at the hotel and the woman with the pink hair? Maybe it's her. The, I, I, I couldn't get into... Are you being served? Is that what it's called? I could never get into that, but keeping up appearances is my shit. Um, but then I was also watching an old episode of Mama's Family, Child, <laughs> that Eunice, and Mama's Family is a spinoff from uh, the Carol Burnett show. She had a skit on there. Now, I'm not that, that's not my age group, but I used to watch stuff like that, um, just reruns and stuff on TV land, right? And so they had a skit on there called Mama's Family, and then they turned it into a show with Vicki Lawrence. Mama's, <laughs> it's, it's so funny to me, and I could relate to a lot of it because the mama's from the South, right? Funny as hell. That show is so funny to me. I used to watch old reruns of that show when I was in college, too. Vicki Lawrence looks good, y'all. She's the woman that plays Mama. She's in her 70s. Look her up. She's on um, Instagram. She looks really good, too. <clears throat> yeah, y'all. I look at so shows like that. <clears throat> I look at old, uh, old reruns of Martin. Um, and right now, I'm binge watching How to Get Away with Murder. Let me tell you something. First of all, there is way too much. <sighs> y'all know how I feel about a lot of sex, sex scenes and stuff. Like, literally on this show, every other episode, they, you know... What they call it, they, they bump in pocketbooks. First of all, I'm allergic to seafood. So there's way too much seafood eaten on this show. <laughs> if that's your thing, more power to you. But, you know, not even just that. You know, I'm, I'm talking about um, lesbians, girls. But not even just that. All over. I, I, don't, I don't care what your sex, sexual orientation is. I don't want to see any of it. Any of it. Good Lord. But that's how it is with a lot of these shows now. I told y'all power, ooh. Power is a mess. I can't even, I'm like, I stopped watching the last, I didn't, I don't think I watched the last episode because I'm like, I don't, <coughs> I don't have time to be watching people have sex every other episode, every other scene. So anyway, yeah, I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder and I'm liking it. You know, at first, like the first two or three, uh, and I'm on season two, the first two or three episodes, I was like, oh, this is slow as hell. And I wasn't getting it because it has a, this is one of those shows that has a formula to it. And so um, at first I wasn't getting it. I'm like, this is cheesy as hell, but it's okay. Spoiler alert, I'm on the second season and I got finished with the scene where Frank shaved his face face and beard when i tell you i was screaming because first of all y'all i love facial hair i got my when my husband and i were dating i once got him to grow out his facial hair girl girl i love me a clean you gotta be clean though you, you can't be looking like you know you just step out of a cave <clears throat> but i i dig me some facial hair but anyway one of the main characters has facial hair or had and but in one scene he shaved it off all off but he still looks good now that's very rare to find someone who looks good with and without facial he look he looks real good without it but I, I prefer him with it you know who doesn't look as good without his beard is called coffee I want to call him coffee Kofi who stars in um, Queen Sugar he doesn't look as good without that beard 
<clears throat> he's still chocolate, but he doesn't. Mm -mm. Yeah, anyway, y'all, binge watching that. Married to Medicine is back on. When I tell you I am here for Mariah's shenanigans, I really am. I really am now. I think that Quad is going to have to um, come to her senses and realize that, you know, unfortunately being a part of this show means that you have to kind of go into your personal life even when you're going through something that's like an impending divorce, you know. Um, I like Quad. I do think that, you know, um, a lot of her antics and sayings and stuff she got from Mar Mariah, but... I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I do like Quad. Um, a couple of seasons ago, she actually responded to me. I think it was like two or three seasons ago. And it was when her and Mariah had first had a, a blow up. And Mariah invited Quad over to her house. But then she was acting stank, uh, stanky. At least Mariah was. So I wrote Quad and I was like, why would Mariah invite you over to the house? And then just basically pay you dust. That doesn't make any sense to me. She responds. She's like, child, I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, that is back on. And I will be watching that. I will watch. Out of all the reality TV, that's the only thing I'm really watching. Oh, that I would really watch right now. I don't do the housewives stuff anymore. I didn't even really watch, you know, Real Housewives in Atlanta that much anymore. Um, but yeah, Married to Medicine is back and I will be brought. Speaking of Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay, this is one thing I wanted to talk about. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> this kind of blew up in the blogs this week or a couple of days ago, actually. And it, it shows me that most people, this is why there's a divorce rate of damn near 70% in this country. Most people have no idea what a marriage is about. So a story had came out that Candy who stars on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she's also a singer, songwriter, whatever. <clears throat> she had purchased her daughter, I believe she's 16, Riley, a car, a $100,000 Porsche. I mean, Candy has coins, I mean, she has money. You know, she can spend her money however she wants. However, the story was she did not communicate the purchase with her husband. Now, the child is not um, his, she has the child with someone else, but however, they are married and the child lives with them. This is my thing, y'all. And this is kind of goes back to when I was talking about blended families. <clears throat> when you marry, you become one. No, should she get his approval, Todd's approval? No, she doesn't need his approval. That's her money. However, if you're making a big ticket purchase, a $100,000 car, you may want to run it by your husband and say, hey, by the way, I plan on buying Riley a car. Just want to let you know, FYI, she didn't do anything, any of that. The child just showed up with an expensive ass car. I mean, marriage is, that was just not a good move. If, if the story is true, it's not a good look. Um, do I believe it? I wouldn't be surprised if it happened, you know? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not sure if I believe it 100%, but I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> I think she did something similar to that. Like she bought something or did something with her money and she didn't communicate it with him before. I think she's done something like that before, but. So no, I wouldn't be surprised, but we don't know. It's coming from the blogs. You don't know what's real and what's not. But yeah, girl, my husband used to do that. Um, just spring stuff on me. I'm like, no, we, we can't do that. You have to communicate. Oh, there's a dishwasher being delivered. Oh, sorry. I'm like, what? Thank you, but yeah, he, he bought me a new dishwasher. Like, I think it was two years ago. Granted, we weren't married then. It was two years ago, he bought me a new dishwasher. First of all, I'm a Leo. Leos, we don't like surprises. No matter how good it is, just communicate, you know? Yeah, something. What is that smell? Oh, you know what? I put um, <laughs> I put basil essential oil in my oil mixture. <clears throat> yeah, y'all. Nothing else is going on. It's so funny when um I ran into my friend Wanda at the store. I got to meet one of her best friends. I don't know if you want to call it her best friend, but a good friend of her. Jason now I've only talked to him maybe two or three times I've met him that was my second time meeting him so when I asked her when I saw him I'm like who are you here with she's like Jason I said okay let me go say hi to him so I went over to go say hi to him he gave me a long hug y'all I love long you know people from the country we have long hugs child um and I like him he's good people he's from Shreveport originally from the country like me 
Shreveport is only like 30, 40 minutes away from Longview, East Texas. <clears throat> Excuse me, Shreveport is in Louisiana. So, I like him. Even though, you know, we've only spoken a few times, uh, I feel like I've known him for like 10, 20 years. He seems like a really good person. Um, <coughs> yeah, yeah, most people from Louisiana are good people, to be quite honest. Um, not all of them, girl, but most people from the South in general, but from Louisiana, Texas, certain parts of Georgia, we're good people. <clears throat> Ooh, y'all, can y'all believe they already got all this Halloween stuff out? And look, I know y'all like, well, Heffa, ain't you dumb? <laughs> Did you take, create your child's costume? Yes, let me tell you why. I went ahead and got this dang old thing out of the way because we're gonna be doing, um, he wants to do these little festivals in the beginning of, the, of, in the beginning of October and you know, we're gonna leave him for Texas soon. So I wanted to get it out the way so that I could focus on our trip and when we come back, boom, we're gonna be doing all this little bitty stuff. So yes, my child's Halloween costume was already out the way. However, Dollar Tree, Walmart, they had Halloween candy out in August. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I don't know what was going on in your area, but out here in Phoenix, I was so irritated when I saw that, especially at the Dollar Tree. They had all the stuff out. I'm like, golly, can we get out of August? The hell? <clears throat> yeah, y'all, I'm still on um, this purpose-driven journey. And like I mentioned in one of my vlogs, I've really been taking the time to basically meditate and be still, <clears throat> be silent. Um, and I want to start journaling again. I found a bunch of old journals of mine, I mean, from like 20 years ago. And it's really, really interesting to see where I was at and where I've, where I've came from and all that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still on this purpose-driven thing. And I'm not certain, and I had this conversation with a woman out here. I'm not certain if my purpose is going to be aligned up with my career. Does that make sense? Like, I think oftentimes people assume that your career is your purpose. I think that you can use, you know, your gifts and your purpose in your career, but I think they could be separate. I really do at this point, I really do. So I'm not gonna focus on that part. I'm just gonna, I'm, I don't know for sure yet. Um, the problem that I'm having is that I'm good at a lot of different things. It is not trying to be cocky or, you know, there's a lot of different things that I'm good at. Um, I'm good at cooking. I'm good at baking. I'm good at organizing. I'm a creative person, so I can make JB Halloween's costumes and I can make, you know, little bitty things for him for school, for my friends, family, etc. But am I passionate about that? You know, does that really is that something you always, every now and then, you hear the question, well, if you could do one thing in life and not get paid for it, what would it be? Girl, easy, not a damn thing. If you, <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. Seriously, one thing in life and not get paid for sit at home and not do anything. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me that question. Cause there's not nothing I would do. Yeah, so I'ma get it together though, y'all. I really am, look at that juicy twist. Look at that. This, this could be a cute hairstyle right here, girl. But yeah, I will be coming up with that video on, I think I'm gonna do five hairstyles that you can wear for either work or school. Aside for that, girl, I had to call y'all back because to take a break to check my work email. Anyway, y'all, so, I don't even know what I was talking about. Just a bunch of random stuff, huh? I am ready for my trip back home. I spoke to my best friend this morning and I'm like, do you have the menu together? <laughs> yeah. Um, we're gonna go stop by her house before, stop and see her before we head out to East Texas cause they live in Forney. Her and her husband, my best friend and her husband live in a small town called Forney. It's going outside of <coughs> Dallas near Mesquite. Yeah, that area, Garland, that area. Y'all know what I'm talking about, those of you from 
DFW area. Yeah, girl, I am ready to go back home, visit my family, visit some of my aunts, um, some of my cousins. Y'all, I come from a very big family. I know people say, oh, you come from a, no, I come from a big family. My mom's the youngest of 13 kids. That's on one side. My dad's the youngest, excuse me, my dad's the middle of 10. Um, when we have get togethers, on my mom's side especially, oh, we rent out gymnasiums. I'm not even exaggerating. At my grandfather's 100th birthday, we had it at the church, at a church in their gymnasium. And the thing with, you know, in the South, everybody knows each other. So, um, people on my dad's side of the family, <coughs> excuse me, my dad's side of the family showed up. Um, a lot of first cousins. I mean, a lot. <laughs> Girl, um, last time I counted, I think cousins total on my mom's side, a little over, a little over 200, probably more than that. Um, but, you know, I was talking about how to, how to get away with murder, and my mom tells me nonchalantly, she's like, oh yeah, she's a friend of the family. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, well, Miss Susie Lee. <laughs> So country. Miss Susie Lee is my step grandmama. Well, yeah, Miss Susie Lee's daughter is friends with her, and they have their own Instagram pictures of them. So I'm gonna have to go on Instagram and check them out. She said that they share pictures on social media. I'm gonna have to check it out and see if my cousin's on there with her. Um, oh, but I just think it's funny how she nonchalantly said that. I think I've told y'all before. Um, Jennifer Holiday is friends with. Well, I should say my my aunt. At least two of my aunts. Or friends with Jennifer Holiday, and I can remember growing up because Jennifer Holiday was always a plus size woman. Um, up until what she had gastric bypass was that the 90s, y'all? I don't remember exactly, but I remember being in my grandparents' house and they had a picture of her. You know, it was from a magazine of Jennifer Holiday, her before and after photo, and I just remember her with her hands on her hips. I didn't know who it was. I mean, I was like 10, 11 years old, and they had it framed, and they had it hanging up in their wall. I didn't think anything of it, I didn't know who it was. And um, even still, you know, I didn't know who Jennifer Holliday was, even she didn't really, you know, come back into light until after the movie with Jennifer Hudson and Beyonce, right? So, because <clears throat> my, my mom would say, oh, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Holliday's gonna sing at your, your aunt's uh, birthday party. I'm like, who? I don't know who Jennifer Holliday is. All right, y'all, I'm rambling. Not really talking about anything now, just rambling. But I will be doing a couple of hairstyles from this. I'm not really good at styling my hair. If you notice, I'm just gonna go ahead and clock my own tea. If you look at my videos, I don't style my hair. I set a hairstyle. Oh, I could do a banging twist out, but actually styling a twist out, so yeah, I had to write, I had to write down some ideas of how I could create five new hairstyles. Cause I would do the same thing over and over. Or I would do my signature pompadour in the front and go on about my way, girl. Don't have time for all that. Or I'll pull it back in a little bun. But I'm gonna take my time and create some hairstyles for y'all. Um, but I have one more review scheduled. It's for a deep conditioner. And that is it. No idea. I didn't even feel like putting in my background. You see, there's nothing behind me. Um, but the den area, being a YouTuber is a lot of work. And you have to, I mean, this is something that I do, to, that I enjoy doing, because I'm sure as hell and I'm doing it for the money. Girl, please. No. It's just something that I enjoy doing. Um, but it's a lot of work. Because at this point, I'm doing two to three videos a week and just to put out that many videos a week, I'm literally, I'm recording, editing, recording, editing. I'm editing at least, if I'm not recording, I'm editing the day. <coughs> or I'm looking at comments, you know, I'm liking comments. So every day I'm doing something in regards to my channel. And sometimes that's not even enough, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of work. Gotta put a lot of work, put in a lot of work, I should say. Um, 
<clears throat> so I'm looking forward to the break. I'm not doing any product reviews, but y'all know, we've already talked about this, that there will still be hair related. I mean, look at me now, I'm doing my hair. Um, and I have a couple of DIYs. I like DIYs. Um, yeah, that is the very, look at that long, that is a long ass twist. Look, look how long that twist is. Y'all can't see it. All right, so we are done. And um, I'm gonna let these set, I may redo this one, cause see that's, well that's okay. I'm gonna let these set for a good day and then I'm gonna come back with that <clears throat> video, like I said, of five hairstyles on a twist out. These are juicy. And yes, one of the styles will be using my own twist, cause look how beautiful that is. Very moisturizing. Um, products that Meal Organic says. Um, but yes, I do have one review still scheduled that's coming up next week. Um, it's a store vault deep conditioner. I've had it in the back there for months. I'm like, you know what, since I'm in the shower, let me go ahead and record this video. Um, and then after that, traveling with natural hair, which I've already started to record, and I will be blowing out my hair for my trip to Texas, <clears throat> which is in two more weeks. And just showing you guys how I'm gonna be styling my hair while I'm in a, it's gonna be extreme going from dry to humid. But I've done it before, so. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to my new subscribers. Take care.